If you want to go pro in Counter-Strike or maybe just join a team for fun, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that and show you how to be successful. These are a few easy tips that you guys need to really look into, not only for yourself, but it will also help the team that you're joining and give you a higher chance at being able to join a team if you are trying out for one. So I'm going to show you guys where you can find a team. And then I'm also going to explain to you what you need to do when you are looking for a team and when you decide that you do want to try out for a team. So starting off with the first little tip here, I want to explain to you guys that you need to decide what role you want. You can't just go looking for a team having no idea what role you want to play because you need to master that role. There's a lot of times when people just kind of look around for teams and they'll say, oh, they need an opper, so I guess I'll be an opper or oh, they need an IGL, so I guess they'll be an IGL. And that does not work at all. So you need to sit down and really look at what role you want. I recommend looking at one of your favorite players and maybe mimicking what they do. Either your favorite player is Munisee and you want to be an opper or maybe you like someone like electronic or hobbit and you want to kind of be a lurk or a middle pack rifler or maybe you look up to someone like kerrigan and, and you want to be an igl this is one of the best things that you can do and then just find whatever player you want and then just study the role a lot of these roles are mirrored in other teams so if you like someone like electronic you can actually look at hobbit because they were playing the different roles before they got into cloud nine so you could study all these different players and find exactly who you like i do suggest that you get out a notebook when you do this and just study up playing them you guys can look up on YouTube looking at their POVs if you want or you can download a demo which is what I like to do so I can skip through and really look at the game and what's happening around on the map but it is all preference and I do really recommend that you study up on whatever role it is and then once you decide what role you want you can start looking for a team but before I show you how to exactly look for a team we need to thank the sponsor of this video and that is Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CS2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins. My favorite thing about Skins Monkey is that I can trade skins that I no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value. If you use code LOUISCS2, you get a $5 bonus on your first trade. If you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. Once you guys got some cool skins in your inventory from Skins Monkey, let's talk about where to find a team. Now, I really recommend just simply going on Reddit. There is a Reddit for finding a CS team, which I'll post right here and down in the description. So you can go through that and kind of get a good idea of what people are looking for. Now, there is some benchmarks that I really suggest that you guys try to reach before you want to reach a competitive team. But if you are a more casual player, maybe you're just looking for a premier team. This Reddit is really good for you. But if you want to take it a little bit more serious, let's talk about the benchmarks so in order to be on a successful team i would say or maybe a team that wants to take it serious you need to be around face at level 10 i know down in the open division on face it or esea there is a lot of lower levels that are playing a little bit more casual and they moved away from premiere and are trying to grind for pro but if you want to be very successful in a team you need to be surrounded by people just like you so if you are a face at level 9 i recommend trying to find a team that is around that same level or if you really have that drive and motivation and you're maybe a face at level 8 or 9 try to join a team with a face at level 10 now some of these guys won't give you the time of day and message you back because you might be one or two levels lower than they are on face it but there will be someone out there that will eventually pick you up when i first started playing i was esea rank like b i think and i think i was like face at level 7 and i did join an open team that we all had the same mindset and we all grinded we eventually got up to rank g and then into fplc and we had a couple teammates that were a lot lower lower level than us but they also wanted to learn and they did improve fast so if you are a lower level than the team you are applying for i really suggest that you kind of just in your application when you message them just state that you do want to learn and you are a fast learner and that will make you adaptable in the team and they actually might give you a chance so just make sure you are ready for when you try out for a team like that moving on from story time though let's get back into how to find a team there are discord servers out there like prac.com or the counter-strike global offensive discord there's also a na scrim group discord that has an lft channel in it as well so i really recommend maybe ask around some of your friends if they are in the competitive scene to just throw you these discords or you can just simply go on twitter to like the prac.com twitter and join their discord from there which i think is a very easy way to do it and then you can just kind of look around for what people are looking for i know in the official global offensive discord there is a channel that you can post team ads and it'll show the face it ranks and everything but those don't really go as in depth as some of these channels where you can really advertise yourself 
Now, one of the best tips I can give you is that you have to sell yourself. And what I mean by that is you have to really show people that you want to grind. So when you are looking for teams, don't just simply message them and say, hey man, I'm looking for a team. I'd like to join. I'd like to try out. That's not what you want to do. When you message these guys, you want to make sure you tell them what times you're available, how much you play a day, maybe explain your training routine if you're deathmatching a lot or playing a lot of aim bots, and then pretty much show them where your mindset is because you want to play with like-minded people. When I was first looking for teams, I always made sure that these guys practiced almost every single day and they were always grinding the game because I like to surround myself with hardworking people. So that's what I really made sure. And that's what you guys need to do as well is make sure that these guys are in the same headspace as you because it can really be frustrating when you join a team and some of the players aren't working as hard because that will really cause some conflict and then you'll start to want to cut people and hate people. And it's just this downward spiral of just hate and trying to push your teammates and they aren't listening to you. And this is something that I don't guarantee you go through. I've been through this personally myself. So when I do try to find players or look for a team, I always make sure they are on the same page as me. Now, the best advice that I could give you when you are looking for a team is make sure you have a good mental. A lot of people like to rage and get mad, and that's not really good in a team. Now, I do think it's okay for a team to have one of these people as long as the attitude in the team can balance out. Like me personally, I'm a very hyped up, happy person. So if I do have someone that's kind of toxic or gets mad a lot in game, I can easily flip the attitude of the team in a match or in practice very easily by just the way I speak and how I hype up my teammates. So if your mental is isn't really in check right now and you find yourself getting mad at a lot of things i don't recommend that you go join a team because it could actually make you a lot more frustrated if things aren't working out because a lot of times in teams you will enter a slump and you have to grind out of that slump to really reach the next level so i really recommend that you go focus on your mental if it is struggling and don't look for a team just yet you need to be patient and work on your patience and try to find balance outside of the game so you can really work on that mental but like i always say in my videos if your mental is having a rough time in game and you find yourself getting mad and maybe be toxic just remember that you are playing a video game and you are supposed to have fun and if you aren't having fun just take a little break step away from the computer go enjoy the sun a little bit get outside get some sunburn and then once you do that hop back on the game and you'll notice that you'll feel like you're playing a whole different game because that's honestly one of the best tips that i do to myself is i like to go outside maybe take a break from the computer for a day and then eventually just reset so again that is literally the best advice that i can give you is just make sure your mental is in check and you will notice that a lot more teams will want you just because you're kind of that guy that has the hype and brings the energy to matches and scrims. So I know this video was very vague on the subject, but I just wanted to help you guys be able to find a team and where to look because I get a lot of people in my Twitch chat asking where they can find a team. So hopefully me explaining that you guys can go on Reddit or you can just simply go find a Discord like Prack.com will help you guys find a team. But most importantly, I really want you guys to go find a role and choose a role and really practice that either when you're playing a premier match or a face a game and really just try to grind out that role because I guarantee there is a team out there that needs that role that you want to play but if you are struggling to find a team you can always pick up a role that is always needed in a team and that is an IGL so I do recommend that if you are struggling to find a team try to become an IGL and just work your way up in the ranks and I guarantee you'll always be needed on a team now hopefully this video helped you guys and if it did please go ahead and like the video and subscribe to me for some daily counter-strike content but if I did miss out any tips please let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in my next one peace out